Hey Earth Angels, this is Elizabeth Silver Willow here for your weekly reading for July 27th through 31st. So today we have a very powerful week coming ahead and I'm sure a lot of you have been experiencing a lot of the energies that have been going through since the last full moon, that which was in Capricorn. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you were feeling a lot of tension and a lot of stuff coming up from the last few years, which would be probably the last three years a lot of us have been going through a lot of havoc and it finally came to a full combination on the full moon where you actually knew exactly what it was that was causing you a lot of pain and angst and also you probably came to the self-realization that you needed to do certain things in order to create a change now, I wish I would say that I have great news and that we're going to move forward from the darker aspects of the transits, but um, we do have some relief coming in this week, but it's also preparing us for another shift that's coming, and we will talk more about this as I keep on speaking. So moving forward on July 27th, Mercury in the sign of Leo is going to trine Uranus in Aries. So what does that mean? When a planets are trining, that means that they're having a positive conversation. You know, when you're having a good conversation with a friend and <clears throat> you feel really good and you don't feel any inhibition. You feel that you could be yourself with that person. That is exactly what's going on here between these two planets. The thing is, is that Uranus, as the mover and the shaker of the world, is going to be having this positive conversation with Mercury, which also is a mover and a shaker. And a lot of people are probably going to feel like they would just want to speak their truth, regardless of what any, well, anyone thinks. They are just going to have a lot of energy bossing within them, and they're going to just want to move beyond those things that mean Saturn, which are inhibitions or anything that makes you feel as if you should be censored. So just watch out for that. If, you, if there's something inside of you that you've been trying to tell somebody, or you've been trying to tell a boss, or you've been trying to tell the world, you can make this come out in a positive way. But I would have to say that perhaps you should write it down <laughs> and go over it and then speak your truth. And if anywhere in that letter you notice that anything just doesn't sound very friendly, I would not speak about that subject. I would most likely wait until the new moon to speak about anything that might make anyone feel... If you're t having tense conversations with somebody, I would not bring that conversation. Up this week I would be a little careful as to how I'm gonna go about it and not just blurt it out because it most likely isn't gonna come out correct because on a few days later on July 29th Mercury's gonna be squaring Mars so this is not a very positive conversation so you may feel the energies of Uranus where you feel yes I could really talk about this and I'm just gonna go for it and I don't care what anybody says, I'm just going to say it because it needs to be said. And then it might not come out right because Mars is going to be there. And Mars is very abrupt and very forthright and does not, it doesn't care what anybody thinks. It's just going to go for what it needs to do. So that is why. But if you are with somebody who is, portrays, you know, Uranus positive qualities, they might get a kick of what you have to say. It just depends on where you really are with the people or the group that you are interacting with. On July 30th, Mercury, Venus, and the Sun will all be in conjunction in the sign of Virgo. So what this is going to make us feel is that we want to move ahead in our lives and that we want to see that change that we've been dreaming of and we no longer want to be stuck in the past. We want to move forward with our plans because we have been 
thinking about these desires, we've been going through a lot of pain and we feel like we already really know what we want to experience in our lives and we feel ready that we we feel ready to move forward. But you will also feel that energy that you cannot move forward and that you are not allowed to implement your strategies and that you're not allowed to move beyond what you have been experiencing in the past. This is not true in some sense and it is true in another. The truth is that during the month of August, we are not going to be allowed to move forward because in the month of August, as Mars is still moving very slowly out of the sign of Scorpio into the sign of Sagittarius, it still has to move past Saturn in order to feel free and in order to feel those feelings that we have all been waiting for. And in order to feel those feelings that we learn that we want to live as an experience in the sign of Leo, Mars being slow in Scorpio is not allowing these other planets in Virgo to fully manifest their energies of movement and of implementation and strategy. What this is causing to happen is to ensure that we are leaving the past behind. To ensure that that which is dead cannot be risen once again. To ensure that those energies that are no longer desirable will no longer manifest and that there's no way, no how that they will manifest ever again. It's also ensuring that those relationships that you no longer need or that job that's causing you pain or that circumstance that's causing you a lot of pain. It's ensuring that it's buried in the ground. Just like when somebody dies, it's ensuring that it's completely dead and that you cannot bury the carcass out, as they say. It's going to have to stay there because it's already dead. So before the planets ensure that what we no longer need and what no longer serves us is definitely buried in the past and those energies are left behind, then we will be able to move forward in September and really live that life that we've been dreaming of. You can have the hope and know that your life is going to change and that you do have a plan if you are taking those steps and those actions. But the requisite is that you must leave what no longer serves you behind. So that is all I have to say for today. For today. And those will be the aspects for the week. And now we can move forward with the readings. Which I'm going to do readings for air signs, fire signs, earth signs, and water. So if you don't know your sign and what element it belongs to, you could look at the bottom of my page and I will have a description there that will let you know what sign you fall in and also what element you are part of based on your birth date. So we will begin now. Hello, wonderful fire signs. This is your reading for this week. So in the beginning of the week, you got the Prince of Swords, so this is um, in a tarot, it's also known as the King of Swords. What this is telling me is that you're going to be using a greater awareness of the mind in order to gain new insights into your life in regards to work, in regards to some new projects that you have, in regards to how you would like to execute certain plans in order to balance your life. So this card is actually calling you out to think more with the mind rather than the heart, but also at the same time, be balanced where you don't overthink. And this, this card really is good for 
those who are more think more with your head because there's a lot of fire signs who sometimes when you are out of alignment you begin to think too much in your head and you can't get out of it and it might cause and stir some trouble for you so try to avoid that use your mind as clearly as possible by midweek you got the two of discs which in the tarot is also known known as the two of pentacles and what this is saying is that you are going to most likely by the midweek are going to have to balance something either balance your checkbooks or make sure that you're not overspending on certain things that are not necessary or not <clears throat> overdoing it in certain other areas like this could be overthinking uh, because you had the king of swords in the beginning of the week and also just balancing life you could be balancing life between finances which could be work and also family or balancing life between you know going out and staying home so you're gonna notice that by the midweek I feel some of you might feel some tired might feel tired and you just need to take some time to recharge and think and just rest and enjoy yourselves but in a very balanced way because by the end of the week you have the seven of cups and this card as you can see here it has these cups and they're overflowing with excess and what this means is that some of your fire signs are going to have to be careful to not go over your limits in excess so don't th this is somebody who wants to spend all their money on food or spend you know all their money on some form of drugs which whether it could be alcohol um, whether it could be recreational drugs whether it could also be hard drugs but the seven um, of cups is actually as you can see here it's Venus in the sign of Scorpio and when Scorpio is in the sign of Venus it's debilitated it's not a sign where Venus likes to be at because Venus likes things that are more free and beautiful and lovely and that feel good. Uh, Scorpio is more about the internal and the investigation and also learning the shadow side of, of oneself and sometimes displaying that shadow outside of oneself in order to try to gain control of people. It's all about power plays as well and also about the discovery of truth. And Venus does not feel comfortable in a sign like that. Venus just wants to have fun. So this is just overdoing it. This is just not, it could also be that you might not be thinking correctly by the end of the week. So you really gotta be careful if if you begin to maybe experience depression because you did not watch your mind at the beginning of the week and you did not take care of yourself midweek, it's most likely that you might experience depression or you might want to overdo it with drugs or alcohol or shopping or binging on, you know, on uh, TV. It's just excess and it's excess that it's not good for you. So I would watch out for that. If you keep balance in the middle of the week and if you watch your mind, you could turn this around and you could overcome that. And I pulled two cards for you that could help you in during this week. And you got the five of pentacles, which is worry, and you got the high priestess. So what this is telling me is to stop worrying. You are worrying too much. You are not balancing that which you can see behind the veil, right? Because behind the veil, there might be some shadow things, some creepy crawlies that might not be making us feel good, or we might be feeling scared because we don't know what's behind the veil, or we might be experiencing you know, our own inner demons might be coming out this week and we might not know how to handle them. 
and we might just be very worried because we don't know where we're heading and fire signs would like to see where they're heading, right? They want to know where they're going to go. They don't want to feel blocked. And a lot of the energies as we see astrologically are blocking fire signs in a sense. It's, we're not moving as fast as fire signs want to move. So that might be producing a lot of anxiety. And what this is saying with the priestess card is that you must hold life in the balance. Just like you have this two of this care it's talking about the balance the priestess card is also about being balanced it's about listening to the in higher self it's about listening to your intuition it's about knowing more than far beyond what can what the normal human being could comprehend or understand and also understanding the light aspects of life and the darker aspects of life and how those balance in order to make us whole. The Hive Priestess is not stuck in the polarities. So the moment you keep on worrying, you are in the polarity of the shadow. So try to remain balanced. And I hear for some of you who want to speak your truth and you are gonna feel this weak, like you don't care when, it, when anybody thinks, you're just gonna say it out loud and blurt it because you need to let it out. This card says, don't. Keep this to yourself. Wait for the appropriate time to bring it into the light and you will be fine. So this is your messages for this week and I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you so much. Welcome Earth Signs. This is your reading for this week. And the Earth Signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And we will begin reading by what's gonna happen at the beginning of the week the middle of the week and then towards the end of the week for you so at the beginning of the week you got the moon card and what the energy of the moon card is that of things being hidden it also is of things being revealed as sometimes the moon could be in in its full bloom which things come into light and at times it could also wane and turn into the darkness where things are hidden and are in the dark, are, you know, like creepy crawlies hiding in bushes and ready to pop at you, or you being afraid of certain things that you are not aware of. The moon card could also signal um, to hormonal imbalances in women. And it could be that some of you uh, Taurus women need to have your hormones in balance by eating the proper diet or taking the, the proper uh, supplements and that might actually help with some of the moods that you have been experiencing that you have been experiencing for the past few months what this is also telling me is that for some of you there might be a form of deception because next to it here we have in the middle of the week we have the knight of disc and then towards the end of the week you have 10 uh, of wants. So what this is telling me is that some of you Taurus have been feeling like your heart has been broken or that you're not being appreciated or that you are being scolded by a group or by someone that you love. Either this group or this work environment or this person that you love. For whatever reason you feel that they in these people are opposing you and they're not treating you as you should be treated and that is actually really causing pain in your heart and and you need to you've been feeling like you need to drop something you need to let go of something in order to move forward and feel lighter so going back to the middle of the week you have the knight of disc and usually this knight he moves slowly he doesn't move as quick as a fire sign or he doesn't move as quick as an air sign it's most likely a, an energy that moves slowly and mythologically and pre-plants everything before they make a move so you might be feeling a lot of you know those energies we discussed previously where you want to move forward with your the plans that you have made but then again you feel that you cannot move forward because 
There's people, as I said, or situations or a form of deception that's not allowing you to move forward. And you're trying to figure out a way as to how to clear that in order to move forward to better, you know, worlds or to a better situation in your life. And I pulled some cards out for you that will help you this week. And you've got the Three of Swords, which that again lets us know that you have, an exper you have been experiencing a lot of pain. And this card, Libra is being ruled by Saturn. Libra, in some traditions, is exalted in Saturn because that means fairness. That means someone who is like a judge and can knows when something's fair or not. But taking into account that it's the Three of Swords, it's just talking about how you may feel that something is, whatever's happening in your life now is really unfair and it's just really tearing your heart apart. And you've got the Two of Discs. And this is telling you that you need to bring those feelings that you are experiencing or those messages that you have been getting, you need to bring them into a balanced state. You need to balance those feelings by taking care of yourself, by letting go of those things that no longer serve you. Taking that it's a 10, um, it could mean also that you're going, you're working a lot and you just need to drop something, something that's really not a benefit for you in order for you to feel more lighter. And you also got the Six of Swords, so what this is telling us is that you should hold on to that hope and also know that you're going to move into better waters. You're moving away from this energy of deception, of pain, of not being understood into an area where you're going to feel more comfortable with yourself and with in that relationship or with those people um, you are going to be moving away from this energy and most likely by September you will really feel the ship but as we move on in uh, August you will begin to begin you will begin to move away from that energy that no longer serves you and I think that's actually really good. I, it's actually really awesome news. And what's really going to help you is for you to keep your mind in balance and also balance your finances and balance yourself. Balance the worrying that's coming from the pain with these, this hope that you have that better things are to come. Hello Earth Science, this is Elizabeth Silver Willow here with your weekly messages for July 27th through the 31st. This applies for the air signs, which are Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We will begin the reading from the beginning of the week, middle of the week, and then towards the end of the week. So the first card that you got was the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords lets us know that most likely in the beginning of the week, you are not going to be feeling very well in regards to a situation that has been going on for far too long. In fact, perhaps you have stayed in this situation for more than you can tolerate. And you have felt stabbed in the back. And you have felt a lot of pain from it and the pain that you have felt is actually and absolutely true. The good thing is that it's a 10 so that means that that period in your life is over you know and you can look forward to the middle of the week which you got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords lets us know that you are thinking clear-minded that you have suffered enough and now you know how to move forward. But you're also balanced now and you feel good. And you've been through the ringer, but you have not let that dampen your beautiful spirit. 
In fact, it has only made you stronger. It has o- only made you crave success furthermore. It has given you passion for life. It has given you zest for life. It has given you all the tools that you need to succeed. And you no longer worry anymore about what people think or about what's going to happen. You're ready to move forward. And you are willing to be patient in order to win your prize. And you will use words carefully. And you have learned many tactics. And you truly have learned to be cunning in this world in a very graceful and wonderful way. Towards the end of the week, you got the Ten of Coins. And in the Tarot deck, it's also known as the Ten of Pentacles. So this is actually really good news. Uh, You might receive some money from somebody. Um, You may be feeling really good and accomplished financially. You may, if not, you may be heading towards financial accomplishment. And you are just feeling overall lucky and joyful and good. In the normal tarot deck, this uh, card also has a, uh, a family and they're having a very pleasant time and they look very financially fulfilled. So that's kind of the type of energy that you're going to be feeling towards the week. You're going to be feeling very fulfilled, although you know that you still have a lot of goals to accomplish because the 10 of coins means that you have accomplished something great but you still have to keep on moving forward in your life in order to accomplish a greater goal so just expect to have a really good time and don't overspend on beautiful things (laughs) or anything that tempts you just try to remain balanced you have worked so hard for this moment in your life and now is the time to truly enjoy and enjoy the new moon that's going to happen on august the 2nd and i'm very excited to see and hear from you guys and would like to hear what you experience on the new moon so these are your weekly messages and thank you so much for joining me tonight and i have and i hope you have a great weekend thank you blessed be Hello water signs, this is your reading for this week and this is for the signs Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So at the beginning of this week everything looks great, you've got the sun and that's a major arcana. So you've been feeling very satisfied, you've been feeling really happy and good cheer, you've been feeling celebrated. Um, You probably feel surrounded by your friends, you probably feel that you are experiencing the highest exaltation of the sun because the sun does represent Leo and Leo is always about love and fun and joy and the promise that it will always be there the next day at its highest. So you really are having a great and fun time. By midweek you got the three of swords. Now although this card doesn't look great because it's three swords and usually it means um, that you know you're experiencing some form of pain some form of loss some form of betrayal the fact that it's next to the sun tells me that you're moving past that and that you're actually going to receive an apology or either some good messages from people from your loved ones Um, some of you I hear might hear from somebody who hasn't talked to you for a long time You might suddenly hear back from them, from somebody who actually hurt you in the past and they might want to make amends with you, you know, want to declare truce, want to declare peace with you. So this is actually really good for you. By the end of the week, you got the Six of Wands. And again, this card has the sign of Jupiter. In Leo so again it's interesting that you got two cards that you know represent the sign of Leo so this Leo per- week period you know I call it period because we have a lot of signs in Leo it's actually really good for you 
Now, as we know, Jupiter actually expands whatever sign it's in. So it's going to bring forth more of that, more of that joy, more of those uh, attributes of the sun, which are joy, love, abundance, success. Um, you name it, you're going to be feeling really, really good. Also, the Six of Wands means that you're going to feel very balanced. You're going to feel like you're gaining success. You're going to feel very good this week. And if you experience sorrow at all, it's because of the past. But all of these good things in your life are actually erasing away those feelings that you're having. And actually, I this is my belief. I believe that uh, Mars actually being in the sign of Scorpio, which is a water sign, is actually helping a lot of water signs, you know, get things moving, um, get some of that stagnant energy out and cleaning your filtering filtering you filtering your soul and you're actually beginning to see all of this in manifestation in your life this week so all of that pain you have experienced in the past is now being cleansed and purified and you have a lot of stuff to celebrate you have a lot to celebrate thank you for joining me today on your for your reading blessed be